my father has um, uh, been doing furniture for a very long time, and, and his uh, um, a lot of his language uh, comes from uh, the French Art Deco, which was around the 20s and even before that. Um, and I, I love its aesthetic. I find it um, very clean, very crisp. Um, there was a, a, a huge interest in materi material. Um, and um, scanning the world for some of the most precious and prized materials, which I think as we have evolved as artists, we, myself, I'm not pursuing it to that extent, but I liked that it was based in form, it was based in tactility, it was based in material. Um, and I, I strive for that a lot in my work. I was introduced to clay uh, probably older than most people in high school, and um, I really enjoyed its malleability. Um, it didn't really fight you very much, so it's, I think that's why a lot of people at young ages are attracted to it. It's easy to manipulate. Um, but I also love that it transforms. It goes from something so malleable, so soft, and it goes through a, a, a process that creates its kind of the antithesis of that. It becomes hard, immalleable, um, and maintains form. So I like that, I like that contradiction a lot. I, I'd consider myself first and foremost a formalist. Meaning, um, I really try to uh, apply my aesthetics to the form. Um, but I think um, when you're dealing with ceramic in particular, it becomes a very functional object. Um, something like this was very much um, a good amalgamation between the, the two, form and function. Something that I think looks very unique, but also lends itself to a, an ergonomic function for drinking out of, so absolutely, it's, it's, a, it's a combination between the two. And I think things naturally evolve from there. They, they, um, they start one place and end in another, and um, I'm not sure that I'm conscious of, of why that is, um, but it's a process that's um, inherent in art and necessary. You know, things always evolve, and, and that's good. <laughs> I, I create things as I see them. Um, and I hope that it connects with a larger audience, and, and I think it does. Um, but I hope that they are, I hope they observe the, the craft that's, that's been um, uh, implemented, and, and I think that uh, you know, craft requires a lot of execution. Um, and that's what I strive to do. I strive to have an idea, um, meditate with it, and then build it, and um, that's often really difficult to do. And I, th I think that in a world that manufactures objects so well, it's hard to see how uh, people on an individual scale c are capable of doing the same thing. And when it's um, executed to that extent, um, I think there's a lot of value in that. And I hope that people can pick up on that, because a lot of people are really good at it. Um, and it's a hard world to compete when you're competing with machines that can do it better than you can. <laughs> Mecca ha has facilitated a very open learning environment, meaning there is a curriculum, there's a, there's a core value that, that the school um, you know, wants you to, to learn by. But it also gives you um, an immense amount of freedom to be independent, um, and to think in, in terms that aren't necessarily about curriculum, they're not about grades, they're not about um, fulfilling you know, a requirement, it's about expressing yourself to the best ability. If that means that you go outside of you know, the assignment or you talk with your teacher and you discuss maybe something that's more conducive to what you want to say with your work, they're 100% behind that and willing to work with you. So, you know, that's huge. When, when, people, when you have support, you have community, and people are on your side, that's a good, you know, recipe for success. So, yeah, eventually I'd like to start making work and selling it and, and you know, start a business. Um, how I'm going to do that, I don't know. How it will evolve, I'm, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, you know, in the meantime, I'm just I'm very happy with the direction my work's going in, and, and uh, I hope it connects with people and, and um, you know, put on such a, a supportive community. So I, I feel that this is a good place 
for my ideas to evolve, and I think they'll be received well. And um, so that's that's good.